What's going on YouTube? It's Katie from EO Fitness here. And in this video, I'm gonna take you through negative pull-ups. So why do we do negative pull-ups? Negative pull-ups are one of my favorite variations or progressions to getting your first pull-up. It requires much more core stabilization than a machine-assisted pull-up, and even a little bit more than a band-assisted pull-up as well. Pull-up negatives or negative pull-ups are great for anybody who can't quite get that concentric or the pull portion of our pull-up, but we can absolutely overload the eccentric or the the down portion of the pull-up, which then in turn carries over to that concentric or pull motion. Basically, if we strengthen the downward part, we can also strengthen the concentric or the upward part. So let's dive into the form. To start a pull-up negative, you're gonna need something that you can step up on because we're gonna jump up to this pull-up bar. It can be a bench, it can be a box, it can be anything elevated where you can actually reach that pull-up bar. Now I am short, so I'm going to use a bench. Now once we've stepped up onto this bench, let's talk about grip. You can do these in every different kind of grip. Today I'm gonna show you these pronated or in an overhand grip, but you can absolutely do them neutral grip and supinated or chin up grip as well. All the same cues will apply no matter which grip you choose. So we're gonna grab onto this pull up bar and relax all the way down. Now we're gonna use this bench to jump all the way up and then we're gonna control it as slow as we possibly can on the way down, keeping the chest up and just slowly allowing the shoulder blades to reach up at the very bottom. Take a big breath in at the bottom. We're gonna jump up and then we're gonna slowly breathe out as we come down. Now, a couple things we don't wanna see. One of the most common mistakes that I see is people getting to the top and immediately letting their shoulder blades come up. We want our shoulder blades to be the last thing to move up at the bottom. You can think of it like they're the first things to move on the way up and the last things to move on the way down. So we don't want this where we immediately let the shoulder blades come up. That was a little bit fast, so let me try that again for you. We don't wanna see this, where we shrug the shoulders up to the ears. We wanna keep those shoulder blades pinched down as long as we can. Something else that we wanna be mindful of is not allowing the shoulders to round forward. We wanna think about pulling our chest up to this bar. So we want big chest the entire time. We don't want this, where our shoulders are rounding forward and we're not really getting the most that we can out of the lats. So that's the pull-up negative. I hope that that was helpful and subscribe for more. Those are really freaking hard. <laughs>